Hello class. In this video, we're going to create a stabilizer for our car, and we're going to create a multiple camera switches for the car. So when you are driving, you can switch it to different views. All right. So this is what we named from NASA class. As you can see, our camera view is attached to the tail of the car, and when the car driving and the camera is rotating with the car, it just look a little bit weird. Okay, it's not very easy to drive. Okay, so here we're gonna select our car, press F key to focus our view on it, and we're gonna create a empty object, and move this empty object on top of the car, and we're gonna rename it to um, camera focus point. And you can drop it into your car folder, and for the main camera, you can move it higher and rotate it down, aim it down a little bit. So you can see the car and the view in front of it. And for the camera focus point, we're going to attach a script to it. So here we're going to create a folder uh, named script. And then go to the assets I provided you in class. So you're going to drop in this uh, camera stabilization script. It's just very simple. It's going to force the camera to knock onto the point we assigned. Okay, and then uh, here on the camera's box point, we're going to load this uh, script. And the only thing you will need to assign is the car, this car folder, onto here. And then we're going to drop our main camera into the camera's box point. Okay, so now if you play, you can see that the camera doesn't rotate with the car. The car is rotating, but the camera just knocked the view on that point. Okay? So now uh, we're going to create other cameras. So we'll have multiple camera views. So we're going to create a new camera and name it top, uh, name it first person camera. So for this camera, we're going to place it in front of uh, the car. So this will be the first person view. So you will be the driver to see the, uh, the road in front of you. However, as we play, you can see that we don't have sound, the car sound. So basically you also like the first person camera, uh, change the tag to main camera. So both, both the first camera and uh, the first person camera, their tag will be main camera. Um, however, we will only activate one camera at a time. We will not activate both of them at the same time. So now you can see that we have the sound. So I'll create one more camera and I'll name uh, top camera. And for this top camera, we're going to use it for the top view. And uh, you can move it higher and aim down to the car. And it depends on how, um, how high you want, you can move it as high as you want. And drop it into the car folder and also tag it to main camera. and we can test play. So this camera will see the world from the top view, so it is more like a 2D game instead of 3D game, you know, the old 2D type of game. Um, so we just have the top view, and then here we're going to create a new camera, and for this one, we're going to use it uh, as the back view, so we're going to look back at our car and the view behind our car. Okay, so if, um, you want to see the surroundings, uh, like uh, if uh, you have enemy cars um, behind you, and you can use the back view to check the surroundings. All right, now let me show you the switch camera script. So we're going to open it in Visual Studio. So basically for this script, we created four objects. So you can assign the four objects in the, in the game. So these will be the cameras. By default state, the first camera will be activated, and the other three will be deactivated. And if you press down one key, and it'll make the first camera activate, the other three deactivate. So that's the same as the default state, right? And then if you press down two, it'll make the second camera activate, and other three will be deactivated. And then if you press one, it'll change it back to the first camera view. And if you press a three, it's going to set the third camera as activate, and deactivate the other three. Okay, so that's how this script works. And we're going to um, drop this script into our game. 
and we're going to start like our car folder and we're going to create empty object so we're going to rename it to car controller and drop the car controller into the car folder and here we're going to um, zero out its position and move it on top of the car and drop the camera switch script onto the car controller and here we're going to assign the cameras so basically the back uh, the first camera will be the you know, the default camera we created and then second camera will be the first person view third camera will be the top view and fourth one be the back view and now if we test the play as you can see by default it will change it to the default view and if we press 2 you're going to go to the front view, 3 for top view, 4 for back view. Okay, and you can switch it between different views, whatever you want. Okay, and then uh, we can create some blockers, the road blocker, um, to prevent our car to drive out, um, you know, off the road. So here we can just create a cube and block the road. And then here I just created a, a small section. You can uh, create the blocker for the whole road. And once you're finished, you just create a empty object, name it the road blocker, and move all the cubes inside of this uh, folder. And make sure their box collider is checked on. And then you can check off the mesh render. So you will only show the you know the collider. And then it will prevent our car to go off the road. Alright, so this is how it looks in the end. Um, so you'll have uh, full control of your cameras and um, by default view the camera will be very stable.